Now on to neighboring Tanzania, where President Suluhu Hassan is signaling in the early stages of her presidency a clear departure from her predecessor, John Pombe Magufuli's way of governance. Now, President Suluhu Hassan has directed her government to treat foreign investors better, in a clear sign that she will be more open to the regional and global communities as Tanzania progresses from an inward-looking Magufuli era. More from our very own Stephen Little. President Suluhu Hassan seems to be taking a different approach to leading the country from the one taken by former President the late John Mufuli. In her inaugural address to her cabinet ministers, press state all heads and parliamentary leadership that lasted more than one hour on Tuesday, President Suluhu announced that after many years to be geared towards restoration of diplomatic friends. To stop that the Tanzania tax has been using to scare away foreign investors. The strong arm tactics, according to President Suluhu, have subjected Tanzanians to heavy taxation due to the narrow tax base. With hundreds of multi-million shillings foreign investments in the East African nation, investors hope that the leadership style of the current head of state will help improve the business environment, increase participation in economic activities and boost industrialization. Suluhu's U-turn on the COVID-19 pandemic in Tanzania, seemingly bringing back Kenya's neighbor to the list of countries in the world fighting the pandemic. During her swearing in, WHO boss Tedros Gabriel Jesus called on the new head of state to work with the World Health Organization to save lives in Tanzania. Hatuwezi kujitenga kama kisiwa na hatuwezi tukupokea yanayoletwa bila kuweka uh, cha kwetu bila kufanya utafiti wa kwetu. Rais Kikwete alituambia akili za kuambiwa eh kwa hiyo tuweke na zetu tuwe na msimamo maalum unaoeleweka. Tanzania's stand on COVID-19 previously had triggered a diplomatic row with Kenya. Former announcing the cancellation of the license for the country's national carrier Kenya Airways to operate flights to Dar es Salaam, Kilimanjaro and Zanzibar. This was in retaliation for an earlier move by Kenya to leave Tanzania out of a list of countries allowed to fly into its territory last year August as a measure to fight COVID-19 pandemic. How how President Sulu will move to mend diplomatic fences with neighboring countries and those abroad will likely define Tanzania's new foreign policy. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.